Anna Foster, BBC News, Hatay. Here, former colleagues of the Deputy Prime Minister Dominic Raab have spoken to the BBC about their experience of working with him as an inquiry into bullying claims against him is thought to be reaching its final stages. Our political correspondent Ione Wells has been speaking to people who've worked closely with Mr Raab about the challenges facing the inquiry. I didn't personally feel bullied. I did observe, though, what I would characterise as bullying behaviour. Even the most challenging experiences, I've never seen him swear or raise his voice like to shout at people. The reason I left was the intensity of, of the job. When does an exacting boss become a bully? The question facing the lawyer investigating Dominic Raab. We've spoken to people who worked closely with Mr Raab. They are not complainants, but wish to remain anonymous to not compromise their jobs. He was somebody who expected high standards of people. He, however, was pretty belittling and he would frequently humiliate members of his private office. At a flick of a switch, he could turn incredibly angry and pretty offensive. This person, who advised Mr Raab in a senior role in one department, said his conduct impacted taxpayers as well as colleagues. Junior officials uh, were protected and therefore would, would not be invited to go to meetings with him. The effect was that he probably achieved something that no minister or secretary of state should try to achieve, which was to shut up those who were meant to be advising him. Dominic Raab faces eight formal complaints involving at least 24 complainants who cannot speak out while the inquiry is ongoing. One of Mr Raab's former parliamentary staffers says he wasn't a bully, but that reports about his behaviour have resonated. There were a handful of occasions where I observed him make a member of staff cry because he was not happy with their work. If a member of his staff had delivered some work, which he didn't think was at the standard it should have been, he could, he would tear it, tear it apart, frankly, literally at times. Literally, as in, as in literally rip up people's work? I did observe that. From individuals we've spoken to, Dominic Raab's behaviour seems to have had different impacts on different people. The lawyer investigating has to turn hours of different testimonies and characterisations into a document of fact. The Deputy Prime Minister said he would resign if he's found to have bullied. Is Dominic Raab a bully? Are you? No. You're confident in that? Yes. But I'm confident that I behave professionally throughout. Some parliamentary staff members and civil servants we spoke to agreed, including this official who gave evidence to the inquiry. He was always very focused on the job, but always super nice. And what was your response when you heard about media reports accusing him of bullying? I was sad because it didn't correlate at all with my experience in the slightest. I think people would admit, like, it, it's hard work because he's a perfectionist. Results of the inquiry are expected soon. It will then be for Rishi Sunak to be the final judge of his behaviour. Ione Wells, BBC News, Westminster. Iran's supreme leader has called a wave of suspected